Hey, welcome back to a new video. Birds exhibiting toxicity or possessing poisonous qualities utilize specific toxins for self-defense. Unlike venomous creatures, birds do not bite to inject venom into their prey, as no scientifically recognized bird species possesses such a trait. Instead, these birds release toxic substances, such as poison, through their bodies. They have evolved the capability to accumulate toxic compounds, rendering them unappealing or potentially lethal upon consumption or contact. Typically, these birds acquire toxins from the animals and plants they consume, particularly from poisonous insects. In this video, we'll explore the 10 most poisonous birds in the world. Are you new to this channel? I really appreciate you subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Eurasian Hoopoo The Eurasian Hoopoo, scientifically known as Eupipa epops, is a distinctly recognizable bird characterized by its vibrant orange hue, zebra-striped wings, a striking fan-like crest reminiscent of Chinese fans, and a prominent rapier-like bill. Classified as medium-sized, they typically measure between 25 to 32 centimeters in length, boast a wingspan ranging from 44 to 48 centimeters, and weigh approximately 46 to 89 grams. Indigenous to Europe, Asia, and the northern regions of Africa, these birds prefer semi-open habitats such as heathlands, farmlands, orchards, and grassy lawns, where they forage on the ground, utilizing their elongated bills to probe for insects. While many toxic birds acquire their toxins from their diet, the Eurasian hoopoe possesses its own unique defense mechanism. These birds have evolved specialized adaptations, including the ability to produce a malodorous liquid from their uropygial glands, which is highly concentrated with D-methyl sulfide, providing them with a chemical defense against predators. This capability is observed in both nestlings and breeding adults, offering crucial protection during key stages of their life cycle. Additionally, a 2022 study published in the Journal of Medical Toxicology suggests that there may be other bacteria within the hoopoo's uropygial gland that contribute volatile pungent chemicals to the secretion. Researchers have reported experiencing lingering unpleasant odors on their hands for hours after handling these birds. Brush Bronzewing Pigeon The brush bronzewing pigeon, scientifically referred to as Faps elegans, represents a bird species native solely to Australia. Characterized by a dark olive-brown upper body, adorned with a rich chestnut nape and shoulders, complemented by blue-gray underparts, this pigeon displays two distinct curved bronze iridescent blue-green bars across each wing. Typically modest in size, these birds range between 25 to 33 centimeters. Primarily foraging on seeds, berries, and small insects, the brush bronzewing is predominantly a ground feeder, favoring habitats with dense vegetation, particularly areas featuring thick layers of bushes or scrub. However, despite its aesthetically pleasing appearance, these birds have been identified as highly toxic. Reports of animal fatalities following consumption of these pigeons prompted scientific inquiry, revealing that the flesh of brush bronzewings is poisonous. This toxicity stems from their consumption of the poisonous seeds of gastrolobium plants, which contain elevated levels of fluorine. The birds safely ingest these seeds, accumulating the toxins within their flesh. Consequently, the the toxic nature of brush bronzewings may indirectly contribute to the mortality of several native Australian mammals that prey upon them. Ruffed Grouse The ruffed grouse, scientifically termed Bonesa umbilis, is a medium-sized grouse found inhabiting forests extending from the Appalachian Mountains across Canada to Alaska. This bird is typically distinguished by its fan-shaped tail and triangular crest. Its coloration may vary among individuals, ranging from grayish-brown to reddish-brown, or an intermediate tawny brown. Ruffed grouse are characterized as chunky, medium-sized birds weighing between 450 to 750 grams, measuring 40 to 50 centimeters in length, and boasting a wingspan of 50 to 64 centimeters across their short, sturdy wings. Preferring to spend the majority of their time on the ground, they thrive in mixed woodlands abundant in aspen, where they forage for buds, leaves, berries, seeds, and insects. Historical accounts from the 19th century documented cases of people experiencing poison after consuming ruffed grouse. These incidents were linked to the bird's diet of mountain laurel buds during periods of heavy snow cover. It is hypothesized that the bird absorbs the toxic chemical coniferyl benzoate from consuming quaking aspen flower buds. The ruffed grouse is believed to have developed a tolerance to this chemical, which renders them less palatable and thus an undesirable meal for potential predators. Spur-winged goose the spur-winged goose, scientifically referred to as Plectropterus gambensis, is indigenous to the sub-Saharan wetlands of Africa. It is distinguished by its massive, elongated neck and predominantly black plumage, with varying patches of white on the head, belly, and wings. Characterized by a warty red bill, 
face, and legs, it holds the title of being the largest waterfowl species in Africa and the largest type of goose globally. Adults typically measure between 75 to 110 centimeters in length, weigh an average of 46.8 kilograms, and possess a wingspan ranging from 150 to 200 centimeters. True to its name, the spur-winged goose features spikes on its wings, which are known to be highly toxic upon contact. The toxicity of these spikes is believed to stem from the bird's diet of blister beetles which contain a potent concentration of cantharidin. This toxin is also present in the bird's tissues, rendering it poisonous to anyone who consumes it. Symptoms of poisoning include blistering of the mouth and throat, abdominal pain and cramping, and dehydration resulting from fluid leakage from cells. It is estimated that around 10 mg of the toxin is sufficient to cause lethality in humans. Red Warbler The Red Warbler, scientifically known as Cartalina rubra, is a diminutive passerine bird exclusive to the mountainous regions of Mexico. Adorned in striking rose-red plumage, it presents a sharp contrast with its pale auricular patch, which varies in color from white to silvery white or gray, contingent upon the subspecies. Its wings and tail feature a slightly darker, dusky red hue, accentuated by pinkish-red edging. The bird's legs exhibit a subdued red-brown tone, while its slender bill showcases a pinkish-gray hue with a darkened tip. For a considerable duration, this small avian has been perceived as unremarkable aside from its exquisite plumage and elusive nature. However, ancient Aztec records shed light on its peculiar traits, denoting a small red bird as inedible. In an effort to validate this assertion, scientists conducted experiments where extracts from the red warbler's feathers were injected into study mice. The mice exhibited immediate agitation, oscillating between hyperactivity and inactivity. Scientific findings corroborate the assertion that the red warbler ranks among the most toxic avian species, containing neurotoxic alkaloids. The presence of these toxins renders them unappetizing, thereby dissuading predation. Given the warbler's exclusively insectivorous diet, it is plausible that the source of the poison originates from a toxic insect within its dietary spectrum. Regent Whistler the Regent Whistler, scientifically designated as Pachycephala schlegelii, represents a bird species exclusive to the highlands of New Guinea, thriving in subtropical or tropical moist montane forests. Measuring between 15 to 16.5 centimeters in length and weighing approximately 19 to 25 grams, this medium-sized bird was recently uncovered during an expedition into the jungles of New Guinea by researchers from the University of Copenhagen. The female Regent Whistler typically exhibits an olive hue with a yellow belly, complemented by a dark gray head and a pale gray, grizzled throat. In contrast, the male displays a black head and chest, a white throat, a yellow patch on the back of the head, and yellow underparts. Despite their innocuous appearance, these birds harbor a formidable secret, a potent neurotoxin concealed within their bodies and plumage known as batrachotoxin. This neurotoxin, known for its extreme potency, induces muscle cramps and cardiac arrest almost instantaneously upon contact, particularly in higher concentrations, such as those found in the skin of golden poison frogs. Blue Captifrida The Blue Captifrida, also known as Blue Captifrit and scientifically labeled Afrida cowaldi, is a diminutive insectivorous passerine species regarded as an ancient relict species confined to the confines of New Guinea. Measuring between 16 to 17 centimeters in length and weighing approximately 34 to 36 grams, this bird species showcases a yellowish-brown plumage with a distinctive blue-black crown crowning its broad head. Notable Notably, the blue-capped ifrit has garnered attention for its possession of batrachotoxins, which are heavily concentrated on their bellies, leg feathers, and breast. Research suggests that these toxins are derived from the bird's diet, particularly from insects like chorcine beetles that it consumes. Adults utilize these toxins as a defense mechanism against predators. Furthermore, researchers postulate that female blue-capped ifrits rub their underbellies on their eggs, thereby imparting a deterrent against potential predators attempting to prey upon their nests. Contact with these petite birds can induce paralysis, while consumption can lead to sensations of tingling and numbness in the mouth, akin to the effects experienced when biting into a hot chili pepper. Arifura shrike thrush. The Arifura shrike thrush, scientifically known as Calura sincla megarinca, is a bird species indigenous to New Guinea and Australia, typically inhabiting subtropical or tropical moist lowland forests as well as subtropical or tropical moist montane forests. Characterized by its compact size, with adults measuring around 19 centimeters in length and weighing between 33 to 41 grams, this bird is distinguished by its notably thick bill. In terms of coloration, the Arifura shrike thrush exhibits variability. Some individuals feature grayish tones with a black bill, a pale face, and a subdued cinnamon hue below, while others sport dark brown upperparts and rich rufous underparts, 
coupled with a paler bill. During a study investigating toxicity in birds, researchers examined two specimens of this species. Remarkably, one of these specimens yielded traces of batrachotoxins akin to those present in the secretions of poison dart frogs from Central and South America. It is hypothesized that the Arifera shrike thrush sequesters poison from the insects constituting a significant portion of its diet. European quail. The common quail, also known as the European quail and scientifically labeled Coturnix coturnix, is a diminutive ground nesting game bird, primarily migratory, breeding in the western Palearctic and migrating to Africa and southern India for wintering. Characterized by its compact size, it typically measures between 16 to 18 centimeters in length, weighs approximately 70 to 140 grams, and boasts a wingspan spanning 32 to 35 centimeters. Its plumage is streaked brown with a distinctive white eye stripe, and in males, a white chin. Remarkably, this bird species has been documented as potentially toxic to humans when consumed, a trait observed since ancient times giving rise to the term quail poisoning. Notably, this toxicity is prevalent only during the autumn migration period, not during their return flight in spring. Recent instances of quail poisoning, particularly in Greece during autumn, have led to diagnoses of coternism among affected individuals. It is speculated that these birds sequester a neurotoxic chemical, conian, after ingesting hemlock seeds during their migration from north to south. Hooded Potohui The hooded Potohui, scientifically designated Potohui dicris, is a bird species native to New Guinea. These striking songbirds are distinguished by their black wings, tails, and head contrasted by vibrant orange feathers on their bellies and backs. With a medium-sized stature, they typically measure between 22 to 23 centimeters in length and weigh approximately 65 to 76 grams. Feeding on various insects and berries, the hooded potohui stands out as the most toxic among the potohui bird family. It harbors a significant amount of the neurotoxin batrachotoxin, which is present on its skin, feathers, and dander. The highest concentrations of this toxin are found on the bird's breast, leg, and belly feathers. Contact with any of these areas can induce a tingling, numbing sensation, along with symptoms such as watery eyes, sneezing, and a burning sensation. Research indicates that these effects can persist for several hours. The hooded potohui holds the distinction of being the first poisonous bird ever discovered. Its revelation sparked interest in the subject of toxicity in birds, prompting a reassessment of historical accounts regarding unpalatability and toxicity in avian species. However, despite this initial discovery, the field remains relatively underexplored. And those are some of the most poisonous birds in the world. Have you seen any of those birds on the list? What other birds do you think are poisonous? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.